how many years already? Um, it's my fifth year. Oh, fifth year, huh? Yeah. How do you like Peru? Actually, I've been there like long, long time, like 20 years ago. That was yes. my last time, first and last time Berlin. So how do you like Berlin? I like it very much, you know, I was just now at, uh, I woke up a little early and then uh, we have many friends in this building. It's yeah. a building of many musicians. Oh, I see. Yes. And uh, you can practice without, uh, you can practice uh, late at night? Not, I mean, yes, until 10 p.m. Oh, that's good. In and the morning, how, how, in, in the morning, what time can you start? I don't know, I start probably earlier at 9, not earlier. Oh, so that's a very good thing. Yeah, you can yeah, yeah. play it's, from it's, 9 to 10. It's very good. It's very good. No complaints. It's very good. So is there, is there like other pianists also? Yes, there are many pianists and there are also very good friends of mine. And for example, one of the, my best oh. friends is uh, Giuseppe Guerrera. And uh, he, also, uh -huh. he also studied many years with my father in Italy. And oh, uh, yeah. so we know each other since 2002. So 20 oh, years. So maybe, can you sometimes hear your, like, your friends practicing? Can you hear? Um, it's a different side of the building. But yes, I can hear other people. There are violinists, there are singers, there are cellists in front oh. of me, conductors. There is a lot of... Oh. So in the morning, I, uh, now I woke up, you know, I just came back because I was in Poland for two weeks. Oh, really? Yes, uh -huh. I played uh, four or five concerts. I listened to some concerts. I visited some friends. Yeah. And I came back last night, and this morning we were doing some uh, sound meditation, very nice, and some yoga so oh, like to wake up. What kind of what, is, what kind of sound meditation? It's um, with what music do you meditate? Um, so it's actually as many things today is an app, is an interesting app. It's called Soundworks, and it basically guides you oh. through different steps of. Uh, let's say different steps of levels yeah. of attention mm. levels of attention mm -hmm. through sounds so any kind of sound can mm. be the sound of an instrument can be the sounds of the street can be the sounds of nature any kind of sound it's about so you listen to meditations through your ipad or something your computer yes yes yes, yes, yes. oh and um, with, with, with which music did you meditate this morning it was uh, just sounds from nature, actually. Natural sounds. Oh, ah. Uh, like or half an hour? One hour? No, less, less, like 20 minutes. Oh, and that's, then we did, oh that's good. And then, then, we did, then we did almost an hour of uh, yoga, like a session. Yeah. With my friend. Oh, with everybody, with your friends. Yes, you, did, yes, yes. you did it with your friend. Yes. Where? Yes. In your room or in your No, the, in his room, friends? in his room, the other side. Oh, oh, that's a good idea. Yes. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I like, I like very much, I like very much this communal feeling, you know, like that you share things yeah. with many people. This is, this is one of my favorite things. Because, anyways, my life is a type of very uh, solitary life, right? Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, now, I play the soloists basically. Sometimes I do yeah, chamber music, yeah, yeah. but not so often, especially now. Now it's mainly solo, yeah, yeah. either recital or... So it's very, very a lot of alone time. And uh, so yeah. when I'm in Berlin, I like to meet uh, with my friends as often as I can. Yeah. So, so which, which language is the most common? Your first language is Italian or... My first, first languages language are actually... Italian? I have two first languages, which are Italian and Slovenian. From my mom. Ah, so then, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. These are actually my... And of course you yeah. speak German and English. So you... Yeah. And Russian. So you must speak... A... Yeah. So you must speak like five languages or more? Yeah. Five languages quite fluently, I would say. And uh, well, and yeah. then I... I don't know. Now, now that the more I'm in Poland, I start to understand Polish. Quite... Yeah, yeah. So you speak. Oh, that's great! You speak so many languages. No, I don't. I don't speak Polish, but I start to understand. Yeah. I start to understand. I, st I understand also Spanish more or less. Yeah, yeah. Serbian. Kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yeah. Yeah, French, because actually, yeah, you look very Latin, and also you physically like you could be very Italian, very Latin looking, and mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and of course, congratulations, your your the 
the co- uh, of the winning the second prize of the Chopin competition. I listened to lots of your performance, and you know,、um, of course, I listened to also your past performance of the Hamamas competition and、uh, like uh, in Australia. And、uh, I enjoyed lots of your performance, but what I liked the most was your Bach. Bach? And it was very, very impressive. Bach, yeah. Which Bach? And、um, your um, uh, from the World Tempered Clavier. I forgot which. I think from which one of the competition you played the competition. And I thought it was the most beautiful Bach I ever heard. And also, lots of people commented, well, this is a great the Bach. You must be a Bach player. Lots of people commented in, in your YouTube. So, no wonder. Of course, I was very impressed because, and also I saw one of your YouTube commenting, I think it was with your teacher, I don't know, it's like a sort of a masterclass. You playing the. Yes. Talking with the Chopin b a l l a d And I think you commented that this could be very similar to Bach chorus. Yes, yes, yes. I think you commented.、Yes. And then really, it really made my mind that no wonder you, your performance is very, like, counterpoint is very beautiful. And this ballad, especially, is a very, you know, the introduction is a very full counterpoint. Yes. You know? It's like yes, very yes. much like Bach. And it's, it's very, very beautiful. And、uh, really, I thought, I really personally, Of course, also my pianist, I want you to play a lot of a lot、wow. of counterpoint stuff. And even I thought, like, Scarlatti, those、yes. things would really, also, you could perform very, very, very beautiful. you know. Thank you. Thank and, like, even the, I want if you play, like, a gibbons or something before b a c k some of the, you know, the, these pieces. I want、yes. if you play those, because、uh, I think you would play really beautifully. Yes, I mean, I like this kind of, you know, I like very much also Renaissance music generally. About music? Renaissance, before Baroque. Renaissance, yeah, 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 yeah. I like very much Renaissance music, but mostly what I like the most about Renaissance music is not actually keyboard, but is、hmm. uh, vocal music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, yeah, I understand,、uh, yeah. Monteverdi, or yeah. especially, especially、mm. Gesualdo, Gesualdo、yeah. Marenzio, like this kind of、yeah. um, Madrigalists, let's say, from the 16th、yeah. century. Yeah. Because actually, your appearance Zuzka, could be like a、uh, type of the person. No, you know, you, you could appear in a movie like a sort of a person of that time, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I thought、Funny. you could be like a sort of a very like a scientist or like a mathematician. Maybe you like this. Are you interested in science yes, and yes, biology very much. and, the, very and much. numbers, very mathematics?、Much. Yes. Yeah, and when I saw you, I thought you are very, not only a musician, but you're very intelligent. You could be like, you know, this.、Um, Mathematician or scientific. So, no, yeah, so you like those things too. Yes, very much. That's why, for example, I also like、um, Scriabin very much. Because yeah, yeah. Music... yeah, I heard one of your Scriabin pieces also. Yes,、yeah. his music is very,、um, of course, it's very emotional, but at the same time, it's really very well constructed. It's like, it's full、yeah. of symmetries, it's full of geometry in a way. And,、hmm. and,、uh, Yeah, I think I, I am drawn to this kind of. That's why, for example, I like very much also Prokofiev, which is,、yeah. you know, in a way, very、uh, line oriented.、Mm, yeah,、And、I heard the third Prokofiev、uh, concerto. Do you ever also play first or second? Yeah, I'm playing, I'm starting now first. I will play at the end of the、oh. month. Oh, the first compared Prokofiev.、Yes. Uh, which do you like the most,、uh, the first or third? Maybe the second. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think the second is very long and it's called a very, it's called a dark, dark side of this Prokofiev, you、yes. know. So I personally like the first, the、yes. first the most, the third, the second, the most serious sort of, you know, very dark music. Yes, me. I mean, of course, the first one has this incredible energy. I remember, I remember when Prokofiev,、uh, I was reading some texts about him and he said that、yeah. he was trying to think about the theme. You know,、uh, for a bigger piece, for a concerto. This、mm. is his first concerto. Yeah, he was、yeah. very young, he was just 18. Yeah. And suddenly yeah. This, this big theme appeared into his mind. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he said that it appeared like a stream, like mm, mm, the yeah, whole yeah, melody yeah. of the whole beginning. Yeah, yeah. And it's really like,、uh, I can imagine it's. It must be a really a wonderful feeling to have this revelation almost, you know.、Uh, 
Uh, mm. Oh, I see. So actually, last year I read. I don't know if you ever read his biography. I read his biography about you know his wife was Spanish. Yes, the Spanish yes, singer. Yes. Yeah, and uh, I read about the, the, their life. And after I read this uh, his biography, I really personally, honestly talking, I thought he's a very unfaithful. I was uh, unfaithful to his wife. I mean, he got married to this uh, young girl yes. wife, right? While well, she was in, uh, taken to you know prison. So I really felt sorry for her. And you know, uh, after reading all this personal stuff, I just <laughs> had uh, now. Have a deep, sort of a weird feeling for Prokofiev, you know, after knowing his real personal, pers- yes. you know, personal character. And I wonder, do you does this influence you, or doesn't that matter? Well, if what, well, musical? well, I'm actually I'm interested. What do you think now about his personal character? You think he was a terrible well, person? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, sort of terrible. Yeah, I thought yes. so. Yeah. Well. And. Um, yeah, I mean, certainly not the easiest character for sure. Yeah, he would yeah, never. Yeah, yeah. He would almost never say something nice to other people. Yeah, yeah. That's why. I, yeah, yeah. I you have know. impression they're also in very bad mood all the time. So yeah. a very moody person. Moody, probably also very sharp. A very sharp person. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, on the other hand, it's difficult to say because his music is so sometimes it's so positive and so melodic and so pure. Uh, except, which piece do you think is the most positive of Prokofiev? Many. The piano music. Many, many. Uh, like? First concerto, third concerto. Well, yeah. yeah, first is I agree perfectly. Yes. Yeah. And also there are moments, I mean, the fourth sonata, I love it uh-huh. very much. Maybe it's not the most uh-huh. positive. Yeah, well, yeah. the last movement is extremely positive. It's like an, an, uh-huh. an exuberance uh-huh. of, of joy and of... Um, of life. Uh, the fifth sonata, very interesting music. Uh-huh, I, I uh-huh. like very much the ninth sonata. Ah, That's also uh-huh, C, nice. C major, mm. C major, mm. Uh, mm. also very counterpointal at the beginning. And mm. um, yeah, it creates like, let's say a different world. A little bit also mm. already looking to Ravel. I don't know, it's very interesting music. Then, Vision Fugitive. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I recorded, yeah, sort of... I recorded a CD that will come out next month. Hmm. Yeah. With, which, uh, which pieces did you record? Which pieces? I recorded which uh, Sarcasms, Vision Fugitive. Yeah, Sarcasm, yeah. Vision Fugitive. And then some yeah. music by Alexander and Nikolai Cherepnin, also Soviet composers. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Russian yeah. Uh, Soviet composers of the 20th century. Yeah. And. Um, so yeah, Vision Fugitive, for example, I find it very... You know, he has this element of magic. Mm-hmm. His music is very... At times is very... Um, almost like a... Like a... Yeah, like a fable, like a fairy tale. Mm-hmm. Not like something real. Yeah, you know? so maybe in his music, he was a better person, a kind with love. Yes. In a real life... He's a bitter and like a weird man, but in his music, maybe, it, I think it's much better. Maybe because maybe because the environment where he grew up and where he lived was not a very friendly environment, you know, uh, end of mm, uh, mm. beginning of Soviet Russia, and then strong Soviet Russia under Stalin, under Lenin. Yeah. Then he moved to to the U.S. to Paris, but. The problem is that very often Russians, when they move away, they don't feel very yeah. comfortable because... Yeah, Ru- example that the, that the three oranges, you know, the transcription of three oranges, that yes. is a very, I think, I feel very optimistic piece also. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, yeah. his operas are also great. I remember yeah. I watched, in Berlin, I watched, um, what was it called? The Marriage in the Convent. So not, oh, not very, not very famous piece, oh. but very funny and like with a lot of wit moments. He has great... Is it for... Is it this for orchestra? Yeah, opera. Opera. Oh, I didn't know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, of course, uh, Romeo and Giulietta, the suites. Yeah. The ballet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, many, yeah. many things, actually. Also, also oh. his... For example, his Opus 12. Oh. Uh, it's full of the prelude in C major. He loved very much C major. Generally. Ah, yeah, even the C major with the Greek sand, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I played that too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he likes uh, C major. That's why the Prokofiev concert third is in, in the C major. 
Yes, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. C ah, major is uh, very much uh, Prokofiev key. Na- ninth sonata, <laughs> fifth sonata, third concerto, cello sonata, uh, hmm. a lot of other pieces. He hmm. loved. He loved very much the the purity. I think. Hmm. Also, he so has. This, he, he has this very. He's very yeah. No, he has this very interesting way to to create cadences. They are always a little unexpected, always a little uh, yeah. with more sharps than you would expect. Uh, and then yeah, he resolves yeah, yeah, yeah. on a pure chord. So there is always this yeah. uh, opposite. Yeah. Element. So maybe, maybe his personal life is very complicated. Maybe, and he he <clears throat> had a hope in the dream in his music that was he made you know that music was his future hope and his personal life was very like could be a decadence and very like um very dark but maybe actually he wished his future to the music maybe have a feeling you know yes i think i think he was completely dedicated to what he was doing yeah yeah, and but, also you know, the beginning. Morning, I hope uh, <clears throat> so. When I heard you back, I was really most impressed because it was very beautiful. So I'm hoping that one day you record maybe the full tempered clavier two two volumes. Maybe I think oh. that will be very great because you play this counterpoint music so beautiful, and your hands are very you have long fingers. Yeah. Long fingers. Quite yes. It's and it's very very flexible. Very very and you play very natural without forcing. It's so natural. And when you play Bach, it's like, it's like very natural but beautiful. So I really wanted to hear more and more of this, you know, well, uh, the, the prelude and, you know. Thank so you. that is my first choice that I'll please, you know, lots of people commented, you're the great Bach player. Maybe the one of the composition from uh, Hamaraz, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. And this morning I heard, uh, maybe it was very old on um, YouTube, you're playing a, a Rachmaninoff uh, prelude in a church. Aha, uh-huh. yes. You know, the C sharp minor, uh, you know, the C yes. sharp minor, the yes, famous yes, yes. one. This was, I, I think was, you were quite I was, very young. Yes. yes. In uh, Italy, church in Italy, probably. The yes. piano was a little small piano. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but that, that performance was very impressive too. You know, I liked it very much. Yes. And uh, do you play any of these uh, rough minor preludes, more yes. preludes? Yes, I do play. I do play some from the Opus 23 and uh, yeah. Opus 32 also. But I love mostly Opus 23. I would like to play also more of them. I played also some Etude Tableau, of course. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. Third Concerto. Uh huh. Third Concerto, yes. That's like one of my favorite pieces ever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah so you know, as I said before, like, like but now talking to you, I even feel that you're a great musician, but you know, you could be a great scientist and you analyze pieces as if you were experimenting something, you know, like putting some of this medicine example, you're experimenting. So you're very like a scientific, you look really like a scientific, like, a, you know, like a Madame Curie or a Pierre Ooh, Curie or wow. something like that. Well, very nice. Yes. I mean, I, I like to experiment very much. Yeah. But the thing, is, why, yeah. the thing is that I like also very much to experiment uh, purely with sound. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. scientists, yes, they would maybe be a little more analytical. I'm also analytical, mm. but but at the end at the end of the day, what I like in music is more uh, very much this intuitive uh, approach. Mm. And also also mm. what what you can do generally just with with the beauty of sound, how sounds mm-hmm. combine, what kind of mm. harmonies go together, and uh, how to go from one to another. Mm-hmm. And how to create like beautiful architectures throughout the piece. Yeah, yeah, because you played a kawaii piano, right, in a composition. Yes. In a... So you like the sonority of kawaii? Very, very much, much, very much, yes. Ah. Especially so for the kawaii... music of Chopin. Mm. Especially for I the music yes, of Chopin. And do you have a, now a piano is kawaii or yes. kawaii or yamaha? Yes, here, here I have a kawaii, Shigeru kawaii. Oh, really? Yes. So you really like the kawaii? Mm. Very much. I also have a kawaii piano in another room also. Uh-huh. Oh, that's yeah, great. that's so... No, no, you know, do you, what is your, like, uh, when you're out of music, what do you do to forget about music? Huh. Do you do something, sports or whatever? Uh, well, I would say I mostly, I mostly like to meet people. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yes, I mostly like to to stay in contact with, let's say, real 
uh, persons. So I it's like. like a, not musician, you have a, a not music, only musician friend, a lot of other friends. Uh, right? Also, yeah. also many other friends, yes. Yeah. Friends from, so, from um, high school, yeah. uh, some engineers, architects, I don't know, uh, philosophers, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People. So, do you drink alcohol? Do you drink? <laughs> um, rarely, but yes, sometimes I do. Oh, really? So, not much like you, Italian, so maybe you drink wine every night or no, whatever? Every, every night, for sure not. But um, no. the, problem, the problem is, I, I don't live in Italy very often. So, when I'm in Italy. So in Yes, maybe I drink a, a glass of wine, yes. So maybe in Berlin, beer? You drink beer every day? Yes, no, every day for sure not. But, uh, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I don't like so much beer anymore. I used to like it, oh. like, I don't know, five, six years ago more than now. Now I somehow I, it doesn't appeal very much. To I drink tea. Oh. I drink Japanese oh. tea very often, every oh, day. You, oh, almost. you drink green tea or like a green tea? Also, any any type of tea, J jasmine tea, um, oh. mm. uh, green bean tea. I see. And also, I drink very often uh, just hot water. Oh, that's what I do every day too. Yeah. Well, I, in the morning, I also drink hot water and I put uh, apple vinegar and yeah. uh, half a lemon every day. Mm. Very and good. I think it's very good for the digestion. First thing I do in the morning. Okay. I don't drink water anymore. I always drink, you know, not very hot, but you know, like a yeah, warm, yeah. warm water, water, which is very good for your body. Yes, yes, yes. Warm water. That's exactly what I do. But I, I don't, yeah. I don't put uh, apple vinegar. Maybe I should. Yeah, try it because it's very good. And this apple vinegar is Italian, which I drink every day. Ah, now. Okay. It's organic Italian, so it's very, very good. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I will do it. So do you do you cook at home? Uh, I'm traveling too much now. I, <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I usually usually I get invited by people. That what oh, I try I... what I try to do is to get an invitation here, an invitation there, an invitation here, so then I don't I don't need to cook. <laughs> oh, that's a very good idea. So they are Italian friends, so uh, cook your Italian, the German friends, you cook a German plate. There are yes. a lot of Japanese friends. Japanese friends are cooking Japanese. So, what's your favorite Japanese food? Sorry, my favorite Japanese food? What is your Japanese food? Oh, I would say all kinds, to be honest, but 